First at noon, right now in the air and on the ground, CBS 4 is there as a search is underway for a missing boater. That boater went missing in Biscayne Bay. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman joins us live from Coral Gables with how she may have gone under and the very latest on the search effort. Gabby? Elliot Cruz have been searching for more than 14 hours now for a 26 year old woman who may have gone missing here in the waters of Biscayne Bay. Chopper 4 is over the search area right now. They say the wind has made this search more difficult, widening their focus area to several miles. Now, police believe the woman may have gone overboard while enjoying Memorial Day weekend on a friend's boat. Police right now are questioning the people she was with on that boat to try and figure out what happened. And they say at this point in the investigation, it's still too early to know if this was an accident or foul play was involved. Search and rescue divers head out on the water to continue looking for a missing 26 year old girl who reportedly fell overboard while boating in Biscayne Bay. We don't know why this happened. I mean, it's a very unusual circumstances that we're working under. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says three friends, one man and two women, went out to party for Memorial Day weekend Sunday night. The group was on a 29-foot go-fast boat near Stiltsville when they decided to head back at around 10 p.m. According to the Coast Guard, the boat's driver thought the 26-year-old from Jacksonville was sleeping in the cabin. When he docked at Matheson Hammock Park Marina, she was gone. The two people on board the vessel realized that they were missing one person. Uh, how that happened, we don't know. FWC, the Coast Guard, Fire Rescue and Police are searching with units in the water and in the air. Authorities say none of the boaters were wearing life jackets. At this point, we don't know if alcohol played a role. Uh, obviously, we're interviewing the two people that were left on board the boat to try to get a better understanding as to what happened. At this particular point, we're not ruling anything out. And authorities right now are working to get in touch with the family of that missing woman in Jacksonville to let them know what's going on. At this point in the investigation, they say no one has been cited. Live from Coral Gables, Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.